Hi everyone. So we're on our last letter of the week and I have a special friend to help us learn about our last letter of the alphabet. And he is my friend, Mr. Zebra. And he is holding our last letter of the week because he starts with the last letter of the alphabet. He begins with the letter Z and Z makes the Z sound like Z or zipper. So here is Mr. Z, the zebra. And he is a doctor, right? He has a little doctor. He is my little doctor zebra friend. So here he is, he's saying, hi everybody. So we are learning about the letter Z today. And this is what it looks like. And Mr. Z, our zebra, Mr. Zebra is gonna show us some items that start with the letter Z. So first he's gonna show, he's gonna hold up my Z for me. And let's see if, He's gonna do a good job at holding it. If we can talk about some of the um, items on our Z. So first we have the zoo, right, where some animals live. Sometimes you might find an animal like Mr. Zebra at the zoo, right? And here's our zoo sign that we have. So I'll put that there. This is a country and it's called Zimbabwe. Can you say Zimbabwe and you hear the Z sound? And next we have a, it's a vegetable. Maybe he'll show it up. Do you know what vegetable Mr. Zebra is holding? And it's not a cucumber, but it looks like a cucumber. That is a zucchini. Maybe he likes to eat the zucchini. Would you like to eat the zucchini, Mr. Zebra? I think he'd like to eat it. He ate the zucchini. It's all yum yum. All right, what else do we have? Next, we have a zip, right? You might be wearing some jeans or pants that have a zipper that goes up and down, right? We have the zipper and it goes up and down. And then we have who helps at the zoo. We have a zookeeper. So the zookeeper might help Mr. Zebra when he needs some food at the zoo, right? So the zookeeper is who helps Mr. Uh, zebra. I think Mr. Zebra likes the zookeeper because it keeps him nice and keeps his belly full. Do you like the zookeeper, Mr. Zebra? I think he does. Next, we have a number. Ooh, what number is this that Mr. Zebra has? Remember, it kind of looks like an oval. It's the shape of the oval. It's the number zero. Remember, zero comes before the number one. So we have zero. And then we have, this is kind of a shape. And it is a, a zigzag, like a zigzag. We make, can you make a zigzag with your hands? It goes up and down kind of, a little zigzag. And last but not least, we have what Mr. Zebra is. What is he holding? He's holding his own little friend, a zebra, right? So a zebra. Oh, and then we missed one last thing. This is called a, a zeppelin. It kind of looks like a blimp, but it's called a zeppelin. So, our letter Z makes the Z sound for zebra and all of our items. In our book, I remember we left off with Mr. Er, um, little Y, right? With his yo-yo. So now we're gonna see what little Z does. So he said, I will call my friend little Z and see if she has a box. I do, said little Z. I will fill my box too. She found a, what did she find? What is Mr. Z? A zebra. She found a zebra. And two more zebras. Little Z found three zebras. One, two, three. Mr. Z likes the zebras. In you go, she said, but the zebras jumped out of the box. Zip, zip, zip. So zip makes the z sound. Away they ran, zigzag down the road. And guess who ran after them? Who do you think ran after him, Mr. Z? He doesn't know. Let's see what, who it is. Well, it says guess who ran after them and guess where they went, where did they go? They went to the zoo, right? Because sometimes you find zebras at the zoo. So they went to the zoo. So the end, and then it says more words with little z. This is, a, oh, rockets go zoom up into space, right? Then we have zipper, 
And this is a zinnia, which is a type of flower. And then we have the number zero again. So Z is for zebra, for Mr. Z, our zebra. So Z makes the Z, Z sound, okay? So what you guys can do is I want you to go and make your own Z into a zebra for Mr. Z, Mr. Zebra. He wants to see all your Zs so he can hang them up at his house because he would love to see your Zs. All right, so we'll see you guys later.